What is up, Link Clan, and welcome to the new video. Today, it's gonna be a really fun video. I got together all of my scooter parts. As you can see here, it's actually super crazy. I got them all together, and I'm gonna go through them all. Have a, I have a little story with each one, where they came from, how long I used them, what happened to them, and we're just gonna go through it all. Then later, we're gonna go to the skate park. It is the middle of winter in Canada, so it's pretty cold and icy. But it's been super warm recently, so my friend Ash and I, we're gonna head over there, bring an ice chip, and try and clear up parts of the skate park where we can ride. So we'll head over there later, but let's get into these parts. So guys, the first part is gonna be my wheels. Starting from the oldest, this is a authentic Razor plastic core wheel. I had this on my first actual Razor scooter, which I'll show you guys later. But this is one, I don't really know where the other one went. I don't really know where the other one went, but this is one of the Razor wheels. So my next set of wheels were these 110 three spoke Av Havoc oil slick ones. This one is hard to see on camera, but you can, you can look here. It got like pushed out and it sort of cracked. It's cracked right there. Oh, you can sort of see. It actually got cracked. I was trying to double it flat when I couldn't really double it and it was just like whipping in. Just, I just hit the ground. And that one cracked, so that one's been broken for a while. And this one was the one I ride on the front, so this is sort of my backup. I always keep a backup wheel in my skate park bag just in case you or your buddies breaks a wheel and like D hubs it or whatever. It's always good to have an extra so that they're not out riding for the day and then they can't ride anymore. It's good to have an extra always in your bag if you have one. So after this Havoc wheel broke, I got my Root Industry wheels. These are my Root Industry. These are my Root Industry 120 wheels. Funny story, when you think Root Industries, what do you think? D-hubbing. So actually, the reason I have three is because I D-hubbed one. Because I D-hubbed one, so I actually got it warranted for a free set, but they didn't really give me my D-hubbed one back, so I had to give it to the shop. So these are my Root Industry 120s. These wheels are actually really huge. But if you look like this mark here, you can see like that's the inside of the urethane of the spoke of the wheel and it's already like de-hubbing. So this is supposedly, I don't really know which ones, but these are like the new pair with the new glue or the new urethane, whatever. I don't really, I didn't ride them for super long after I got them. But yeah, so these are all of my wheels. I did have another pair of Protos that my friend Chris gave me, but in the last video, I gave them to my friend Trishon because he needed them. So let's move on to the next part. So the next part I have is my Dex. This one right here is my Fusion off my first complete. It was like the Fusion X5 complete. It's actually really light. Like I sort of wish my deck was, my real deck was this light, but this was actually a pretty good deck. It looks a lot like a lucky deck. And it was really light. After I was done riding it, I used this for testing, like drilling holes in the deck and just seeing how well it would work and everything. But it was actually a pretty good deck and it's like four wide or something, so it's super thin. But I did use it for quite a while and it stood up. So this next deck is my Havoc Storm deck, which I actually ran for a very long time with my Havoc Storm scooter. I recently just got a new deck to replace it. So this one, I literally drilled as many holes as I could into it and in the top too, but oh, you can sort of see, you can see all that. That's all holes. I like, so this deck is actually pretty light. I even ended up drilling them in the head tube to make that lighter too. Maybe one day I'll try and drill as many holes in this deck as I possibly can fit and see how light we can make the deck. It will probably like snap, but we'll try it out. And then also at the back, it was sort of cracked. It was cracking here and bent so i decided it was time for a new deck so that so i replaced it this deck's about 4.25 and i learned almost all of my tricks i know now on it so the next part is bars these bars were my fusion complete bars that i ran on my deck that i just went over i mean these bars lasted a while they're kind of a whack design if i were to think today but it was my first scooter i was honestly so stoked with it Came with these grippy grips that literally have like nowhere at all of them. And they're actually pretty nice and pretty soft. A lot like an ODI grip. So I really like those grips. But what happened to these bars? As you can see, I cracked it right at the slit. Probably because the slit was a little too long for my clamp. And it bent. So you can see that just like goes grit. So it bent and cracked. So I couldn't really run them anymore. Which is too bad. But these bars were actually pretty good. And they're pretty light. Now up here, these bars hanging on my wall, they're from my Havoc Storm Complete. 
they were some steel bars again i cracked these ones right above the slit because the slit was a little too big so they cracked i actually got that one on video so it's too bad but those ones cracked and they were pretty good bars except if you landed on that that really hurt and pretty light too so next part we're gonna go over is my forks and clamp so these forks right here were my havoc storm forks they're made of steel and there's some ihc forks so they're actually pretty heavy they're also bent they're bent out right there so my wheel was really crooked so i did need some new forks otherwise they were pretty good forks they did take me a really long time to bend just except for the weight it wasn't too good but super strong this fork tube and fork was my fusion fork threaded fork i don't really remember why it's cut in half but i didn't snap it it was just cut i think when i first got my nv cnc fork i wanted to run it with this deck but it kept rubbing here so this fork seeing as it was threaded had all these rings on it and everything so i was thinking maybe i would get lucky and i could use one of those as a spacer so my fork would stop rubbing on the bottom of my head tube so i ended up cutting the fork in half but it didn't end up working so it was honestly a big waste of time and now the fork's in half so this clamp right here is my fusion rebolt clamp this clamp has a fun story too so i actually used it for just like testing out painting this clamp, you can see it's been painted black. It was originally red up on the top. Just seeing how paint would stick to it and which ones I could use. I'm just testing out designs. So this has been a test clamp. It wasn't that good. It always stripped and like the first day I got the bolts, they were stripped. It was honestly a really bad clamp. I knew that, but one day, one day for some reason, I put this clamp on my bars. I don't remember why, but it was like on my apex bars and literally it stripped. It wasn't tight. Like, I could wiggle the bars around so I couldn't ride with it. And it was stripped and I couldn't get it off. So I was literally so mad. I got my scooter in my vise and started sawing at the bolts here. Which ended up, like, I finally got the bolts. I was so frustrated. I got the bolts off and everything. And you can see there's, like, scratch marches because I scratched up my deck. Scratched up my bars from trying to cut this stupid clamp off. I don't know why I ever put it on in the first place. But I did end up cutting it off. So it was really dumb. So for my next scooter part, let's get into the complete. This right here was my Razor. My first like actual Razor Ultra Pro, I think. It was, it's pretty sick. I like this a lot. It came with my Razor Hollow Cores. I got this a while ago, like my grandpa bought it for me. It was really dope. It's pretty much what started my scootering. But that was like a while ago and then I like stopped scootering or whatever. I did make it into a trampoline scooter and put some towel around it so it's pretty soft. And I have these nice grips up here. But the headset's like really bad. And like locks up at random times. So I might be making a new trampoline scooter. But for now, it's actually pretty good. For the next part, we've got my Cody Flom full scooter with my Apex bars. So these bars, I actually got them when my Havoc one snapped right there. When they snapped, I went and bought these Apex. It was like always a dream of mine to have Apex, so I did get them. Actually, at first I bought Reapers. I literally bought Reapers, walked out of the store, tried to fit them on my scooter, but they wouldn't work. I don't know really what the problem was. The Reapers were like, I, she like standard on the inside, but I needed an oversized clamp. And then I'm like, I don't want to spend any of the extra money. So I just got standard Apex bars, some blue grips up on the top. And the only thing from my Havoc Storm scooter is this clamp that I painted blue and the headset, which I mean, you can't really see. It's a headset. Then after I ran, like after I ran this deck, I did end up buying my Cody Flom deck, which I love. It's honestly such a great deck. I might do a review eventually on it. We'll just wait on it for a little bit. And with it, I sort of rebuilt a new scooter. I got some blue wheels and a blue Envy CNC fork. So this is my scooter. I really do like this scooter. It's actually pretty light with steel bars. I might be getting some lighter bars soon and then it'll make the scooter really dope. But for now, that's what this one is. Let's check into my last full scooter. Okay, so right here, this is my Full scooter, this is from Unique Hobbies and more. It's actually really nice. Jason sent me over this scooter and so I could build it and make some custom builds. So I did, I rode it and I'm riding it. It is a tad heavy with the SES and everything, but I do like it, just like a change of colors. 
gold's really shiny. I wanted to paint the bars black, but they didn't. He didn't really want me to, and the gold wheels and everything. So it is. It's a really super duper nice scooter. It like spins really well. The headset's great. They just don't stay dialed because the fork is too long, and I have a loads of spacers. But I think I just need to eventually cut the fork. So I don't really know what I'll do with it. But for now, it's a great scooter. It's still in really good condition. Another full scooter. It's pretty much all Lucky except for the Havoc grip. So Lucky Huracan fork, John Marco wheels, and everything. That is all of my scooters, all my parts. Thank you guys for watching this part. I'm going to head to the skate park soon. Oh yeah, plus this scooter. It's actually pretty cool. I might have some other parts laying around, but I don't really know where those are. So I'm going to pack up my bag. I don't really think the skate park's going to be clear, but we might try and just get some clips somewhere else if it's not. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, we just went to the skate park and it's super duper icy, so we can't ride it. Everything's covered in ice, so that sucks. So guys, thank you all for watching. I'm sure the skate park was closed. I was really bummed too, but that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed just seeing all of my parts. I mean, as the days and the months goes on, I'll probably get a lot more. So I might make an updated video in a little bit of if I get any more parts. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Just hit 10k, 11k, it's coming soon. I'll see you guys on the next one. Leave that like, L for the like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.